Hey guys, so yeah. <clears throat> Tonight I'm really excited because I'm gonna be checking out uh Hollow EN Gen 4, aka Hollow Justice's uh debut song called Above and Below. Now I haven't yeah <clears throat> reacted to their debuts yet. Uh debuts yet. I'm hoping to do a, a debut highlights reaction, so yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> but the only debut highlights reaction uh, highlights video I could find is like 43 minutes long and I just don't have that kind of time. So yeah. Anyway. So like I said the song's called Above and Below and I can't wait to see what the song's about and yeah, I can't wait to check out the new members. The only things I know about them is that uh I, if I remember the three of them are European while the uh, while the other one is American. Uh, if I remember correctly, one's uh, British, one's Italian, and uh, one's uh, one is either German or Austrian. No, I think it's German. Uh, she's German, so yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's get to it, shall we? <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> been 23 minutes already uh, liking the instrumental so far. Uh, they sound great already, and as for the lyrics it and genre, it's again one of those pop, uh, pop songs like, Hey, I'm the best, I'm the boss, you, got, you think you can take me down? No, I'm the boss. The, it's one of those type of songs, which, you know, uh, ex <clears throat> I was kind of ex expecting for their debut song. It's just, you know, I've listened to so many songs of this genre and topic, you know, it just, the flavor is getting less and less uh, tasty, you know, but hey, let's listen to the rest. <laughs> For some reason, uh, the rhythm, uh, of, uh, of how they sang, uh, of how she sang these particular lyrics remind me of another song. I just, I just don't remember the name or how it went, but it rem it's really reminding me of uh, another song, uh, with a similar, uh, beat and rhythm to, uh, those lyrics. Sorry if I pause a lot, I just want to check out, you know, her models and... So she's probably like a cat, maybe a leopard because of the tail. Her, I can't really tell. Hi. So, her may be a demi-human. Her, she's definitely human. But, uh, uh, outfits alone, uh, I'm at a cross, uh, between her and the red, uh, her and her, uh, it, they both look so good. I mean, all of them do. It's just, yeah. Fantasy, wanna be 
her she's uh her in terms of accents her her accent the british accent is my favorite i i love british accents they just sound uh so cool uh for some reason you know Now, in terms of symbolism, uh, symbolism, I don't really see any deep meaning behind the lyrics. Like I said before, it's one of those, I'm the boss, uh, you ain't taking me down, you're the one who's going down type of song. As for the visuals, like for example, the, the weighing scale with the chess pieces and the apple, I'm having a really hard time trying to decipher as to... Uh, the reasoning why they chose the, this visual, why they decide to put that in, and why specifically chess pieces and an apple. Um, but, but I, I'm really trying to analyze what this is supposed to symbolize and what it could mean. But I've I've got nothing. Comment down below what you think uh, this visual is supposed to mean. Oh, so she's like a mechanical doll type of thing, you know, with the crank key or whatever you call that thing on the head. Hmm, nice. Okay, so that was pretty cool, pretty catchy, but I wouldn't, uh, but I wouldn't exactly put it in my favorites playlist. I'd probably give it, uh, I'd probably put in, like, my, uh, every now and then playlist. So, yeah. As, now, I, from zero to five, I'd rate this song probably, uh, Three, maybe 3.5 out of 5 stars cut because as catchy as it is like I said I wouldn't exactly put in my favorite plus in terms of the sorry sorry in terms of the topic <clears throat> like I said like I said uh, nothing really new so that's kind of uh, so yeah, that's kind of not a reason why the visuals were great. I l at least I got to see the full outfits and yeah, and uh, uh, they they sound really good, especially the British girl. I really love her uh British accents, like I said before. So uh yeah, <clears throat> and uh, in terms of you know normally I try to criticize what. Uh, to the meaning of the song behind it, but like I said before, I couldn't find any meaning behind the lyrics. As for the visuals, I'm having a hard time trying to just, trying to decipher it, uh, especially the visual with the, like I said, the weighing scale and the, and the apples and the chess pieces. <clears throat> uh, so uh, yeah, I can't wait to check them out, check out the debuts and whatnot, and check out their clips. So yeah. One thing I really, uh, one thing I really like 
and dislike about you know uh how the two birth you from these various nations for example european uh, for example european vtubers is uh when they do so songs whether it be originals or covers it's always in uh english or whatever i'd what i'd really like you know for now uh is they do a song in their national language like kiara uh kiara she's austrian i'm i wish one day she could do like uh a cover uh, of an Aust of a song that's you know popular in Austria, or maybe do a German cover of a of a famous song. So yeah, that'd be nice. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I, that's all I really have to say. I've got nothing else on my mind. So yeah, like and subscribe. Check out my Facebook page. Blah blah blah. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.